Huh? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for what I think will be a fascinating, important discussion. Um, we have with us Habib Esid, who is the head of government of Tunisia. Um, one of the many ways in which Tunisia is unique is that its head of government is called head of government. So when you refer to him and you ask a question, please do not say President or Prime Minister, Mr. President, Mr. Prime Minister, say Mr. Head of Government. Um, and my first question will be, um, I'm going to talk, we're going to have a conversation for a while and then we'll open it up, um, is on another point of uniqueness for Tunisia, which is you are generally considered to be the only success story of the Arab Spring. Mm -hmm. um, and there are many scholars who have written about this and journalists who have examined it, but I was wondering whether, A, you would accept the characterization of Tunisia as a success story, um, and B, if that's the case, why? Well, I will uh, start uh, by answering to the second uh, <laughs> uh, alternative, and then uh, I will uh, go back to the first alternative. Uh, why uh, Tunisia is so, so special in, this, in these situations? You know, Tunisia has a very long history. We have 3,000 years of history. Tunisia existed since 3,000 years. This is the first uh, important uh, thing. As a country, you have as existed country, for 3,000 years. As a country, yes. The second uh, point which is uh, important, Tunisia uh, is also uh, have uh, the same uh, religion. 99% of the Tunisian are Muslim and Sunni. This is the second point. The third point is that uh, uh, Tunisia, since 1956, with the independence, the uh, father of the nation, Bourguiba, has done a lot for, uh, for Tunisia. And uh, uh, we, we, he has built a state. We have institutions in Tunisia. And those institutions, the, though we had this uh, transition, I would say, transition, Though this uh, transition, those institutions re resisted and uh, they were on. We have a state, Bourguiba, with education and with uh, health, his health policy, has, has uh, 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 built uh, a state, a permanent uh, state that, uh, though we had this uh, difficult, uh, difficult transition, we, uh, the, the state didn't uh, collapse. This is uh, uh, the third. Uh, the third reason why Tunisia resisted to, uh, to this uh, transformation, political uh, uh, transformations. The, the fourth and last uh, reason would be that uh, Tunisian, they, uh, uh, they, uh, they have a, a national unity. They feel Tunisians. We don't have any, uh, uh, even though in some, in some situation we had uh, 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 some um, manifestation of uh, uh, belonging to uh, groups or, or tribes, but uh, this also is was was the work of uh, Bourguiba, the father of nations, who constituted a nation, consolidated nations. The Tunisian they feel they are Tunisian. Those are, I think, the the four main uh, main reason why uh, Tunisia is uh, a singular uh, uh, example in this uh, in these uh, situations. To go back and answer to your uh, First alternative, is, uh, uh, is uh, can we consider uh, ourselves as success? You know, uh, 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 it's hard to say that uh, we are a, a success, but uh, uh, we are working. Um, we've did a, a, a smooth transition, and then now we have uh, uh, institutions, and then uh, those institutions uh, we we have. Uh, uh, parliament uh, was uh, freely elected. We have the president also was freely elected. We have uh, a government designated by the by the parliament, and then we've uh, we've started uh, working. But we have many challenges. You should, you, you cannot uh, 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 announce that uh, you are a success. But uh, we have a lot of work to do. 
we have many challenges, important challenges. First of all, we have a security challenge, which is, which is very important. As uh, everybody knows, uh, we have a problem of terrorism uh, that, that we have to, 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 uh, to struggle and fight against uh, terrorism in, in, in Tunisia. We have also uh, a challenge which is um, social uh, stability. It is, it is very important uh, in order to be able to, to invest and to create jobs that you, you need to have social uh, stabilities. And we are working for fighting against terrorism. We are also working, we have an agreement with the labor unions about having uh, social stability for the next uh, three, three years. But these are necessary conditions. But uh, the most important condition is that we, we have to go back to, 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 uh, to the economics problem, which is the most important uh, uh, one. We need to create jobs. We have uh, a rate of unemployment quite high, very, uh, very high. It is around 15% actually. But uh, the most uh, uh, important aspect is that uh, among those 15%, I think that 30, uh, uh, 32 or 33 uh, percent uh, uh, of those who have uh, uh, high grade, uh, high school grade, uh, are, are unemployed. Then we are looking for those uh, those people mainly. So uh, uh, we cannot tell that we are, uh, um, but we are working in order to make uh, the, the the case of, the, of Tunisia. Uh, a success, but we, we have a strong will uh, for, for doing that, and uh, I think uh, by uh, working hard, uh, nothing is impossible. That's why I've learned uh, in the United States when I went to school here. <laughs> so, so let me ask you: you actually you provided a very interesting um, answer on on the the question of why why you have ma managed to have relative success. So you, you said you have national unity, um, which goes back a long time. You have religious homogeneity, 99% Sunni, uh, and you have a strong state uh, that was built by Bourguiba. I would have added one thing, and I want to know what you thought about this, is the army. The role of the army in Tunisia is somewhat different from the army in Egypt or Algeria, that it has not been tempted into politics in the same way. Why is that? Uh, this is also uh, something which was done by Bourguiba. That, uh, we are, I am I'm, I'm, I'm repeating Bourguiba because uh, he's done a lot for our country, and he's the father of the nation. And uh, 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 Bourguiba, when uh, they, they asked him uh, in the beginning of the of the, of the would you like to invest uh, in army or invest in uh, education? He said, I, I, would, I would rather invest in education than invest in, in, in army. Uh, 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 the army doesn't play a very important role in, uh, in, in our country, but it's there. And then during the revolution, the army protected the, the, the revolution. The army protected the, the, the citizens. They, they are playing their role in a democratic uh, uh, country. This, this is the role that we wanted to, to give uh, to, the, uh, to the army. It was dead since, uh, since uh, we've had our first army in 1956. So another feature in, in, your, uh, in the Tunisian experiment, uh, experience that seems interesting, I don't know if I use the word unique, but unusual, is your Islamist parties, um, the main one led by Mr. Ghanoucci, are much more moderate than many of the other ones uh, in, in other parts of the Arab world. They have very different views on women. In fact, their spokesperson, their spokesman that was spokesperson was a woman. Uh, they very clearly believe in democracy. Uh, they do not want to implement some kind of a strict Sharia law. First, I'd say, would you give them some credit for having this, this um, kind of moderate, pluralistic, and democratic version of, uh, of political Islam and secondly, why, why has that developed? Well, uh, we give him some credit for that. It's, it's, it's important. As a, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, in my government, uh, we are four, four, uh, four parties, uh, political parties, and the, the main one is Nida Tunus, who has the majority in the, in the parliament, and, uh, and another who, who came to the, the second. Right. And then uh, uh, they, and they uh, accepted. The, the rules of democracy, right. which is very, which is very uh, import, important for for the country, because in this 
uh, uh, transition in this uh, phase, you, you have uh, you need to have uh, a government with uh, with uh, strong support in the parliament, and then they accepted to do to, to play that the, that role. That's why we we respect their uh, their positions, and then and then we are doing a, a good job together. And why do you think that your um, your your political Islamist parties are quite different from, say, the one in Syria, the one in uh, even in Egypt, which was somewhere between. I mean, there are some which are very, very extreme and, and violent. There are some that are extreme but not, not violent. Yours is neither extreme nor violent. Because they are Tunisian. I wonder, when you, when you talked about your... Uh, the, the, you know the, the, the path that that uh, that you went through. What do you think was the was there a critical moment where things could have gone very badly for the Tunisian revolution, and it could have become more violent, more chaotic when people may, could have uh, taken over? I mean, was there a, was, was there moments there that you worried? Yes, there there were, there were a moment. Very, very important moment in this uh, in this uh, this transition. You know when uh, the revolution happened in uh, and then uh, when uh, Ben Ali was uh, dismissed from his uh, his function and left uh, left the country. That period was a very difficult uh, period, and. Uh, uh, we started with uh, a first trial of, of government, you know, and then uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Ghanoushi, <coughs> not Ghanoushi from the Nahda, Ghanoushi who was prime minister That's in right. 2010, right. uh, formed the government. This government was rejected from the, and then remember we had Kasba 1, Kasba, Kasba 2. And then uh, in Qasba 2, Ghanoushi resigned. And then we had to find somebody in to, to, to lead uh, uh, the country in this very difficult, very uh, uh, peculiar situation. And then uh, came uh, uh, Mr. Beji Qaid Sipsi. And then when he came and he took uh, uh, place, and he was the head of the government at that at that time. We, the institution the institution weren't weren't uh, uh, there because the parliament was dissolved and then uh, uh, the constitution the old constitution was also uh, dismissed. And then we had to 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 find a way to 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 um, put everything together in order to uh, to make this smooth transition from. Uh, from the dictator to, to, to a, a democracy. And I remember I was, I was there by that time, and then we, we had the um, first meeting. Be, before forming the government, we had the first meeting with Mr. Bajakat Sipsi. And he told us by that time that uh, those who want to make politics, they have to, to resign immediately. Hmm. But those who want to save the country can stay with me. And there were, in that government, there were, I think, uh, seven or, 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 or eight uh, ministers. They, they, uh, they resigned and they went there. They went hmm. And the, he told us, our objective is to make the, the smooth transition for, to democracy. And uh, getting a smooth transition to democracy, the condition was to have free elections. If you had to have free election, that, that was the, uh, our uh, our objective. You know, in the beginning, we had some some problems. Some some of the opposition wanted to make uh, a Qasba three because they they considered Mr. Bashar Sipsi something who uh, worked with the old regimes and then he cannot be uh, uh, able to 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 make the transition uh, uh, the the transit Tunisia from a dictatorship to to a democracy. Mm. Then our objective was how to go from the situation that we were in to uh, uh, a democratic uh, 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 society. And the objective was 
to have elections, free elections. And then we decided to make an election. And our role, by the time I was uh, with him in the same team, that I was Minister of, of Interiors. And they have, we, we had a very important responsibility how to go uh, to, how to make uh, democratic uh, elections in, uh, in Tunisia. And there was, I think, I think we, and we did, uh, 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 there was a challenge, a very important challenge, but we succeeded to make the free election on the 23rd of October. That was the, 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 the reason, uh, one of the main important reasons for the success of that uh, Tunisian history. So let me ask you about another un uh, unusual aspect of Tunisia, which maybe not, is not quite as, um, as much good news. There are now two studies done on the jihadis who have poured into Syria. Mm -hmm. And both of them note that the single largest number come from Tunisia. You were Minister of the Interior. Why is it? Why are so many Tunisians? Used to be, Mr. Material. All right. Used to be. No, but you, <laughs> assume me, you, you've, you've looked into this issue of why is it that you, your youth are getting radicalized and why they're going to Syria? Um, but I have to make a precision. It is important. We, we were, myself and the, the president, Sibsi, we were in office. And then we, we, were, we, were, we had a mission, yeah. which is do free elections and then give up Yep. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, uh, our, our, our position to those who were uh, right. elected. But it's still, it's elected. still happening. I mean, uh, there's still, still happening. But, but, yeah. but uh, don't ask me about because yeah, in, yes. in the period between two of, uh, end of 2011 yeah. until, until beginning of 2014, I, I quit office. Yeah. And there was, yeah. I was, uh, so uh, many things happened in, the, in, the, in these periods. But I, wasn't, I didn't have any responsibility at the time. So, I won't be able to, to, to answer. So but why is it still happening? Why is it that so still many happening, things? Uh, I don't think so. Since, since uh, uh, I think the old government who, who were before us, they, they, they make a, a very important uh, effort and they, they, they took measures. We are still taking them actually in order to, to tackle this, uh, these problems and to reduce. And they're, they're reduced. They're, they're reduced why, I much. guess my question is, why is it happening if, the, if, if there were so many Tunisian radical jihadis? First of all, why are, they, why are there so many? Two, why are they not trying to topple your government? Why are they busy trying to topple Assad's government? Um, you, you see what I'm saying? The whole thing is a little peculiar to me. I see, I see. Well, I, I'll, I'll try to give you a, an answer for those, for those two, uh, two questions. Why those jihadi? Uh, uh, this important number of jihadi uh, interns. This is yeah. the first uh, question. Why they 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 go to uh, uh, Assad uh, yeah. and they uh, first first of all uh, the, during the last 30, 30 years we had many problems in Tun uh, in Tunisia and uh, uh, we didn't do enough. We, I, I I recognize that we do enough in order to. Uh, uh, tackle the problem of, uh, of, of, of terrorism, tackle the problem of extremism uh, in uh, in that. So uh, 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 there were th th those people who are jihadi. They, they 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 go to jihad for for two main reasons. The first one is uh, 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 ideology. Some of them they they they, they think that uh, through jihad they can go to paradise and things like that, and they do believe in in that. But the most important part of them, they are for economic reasons. They didn't have jobs. They didn't have, uh, 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 they couldn't uh, 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 have, uh, have a, a, a normal life. Uh, uh, so so the, the, and, and there are a lot of lobbying out of this, this, this uh, extremism. They're looking after those, uh, those people and offering them money and uh, and, uh, and activities. So those, those, that's why uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, um, they were uh, 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 endorsed. Uh, on, uh, 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 come on, uh, uh, they, they, they were, they were uh, indoctrinated, indoctrinated by, uh, by the people. This, 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 these are the two, the two main uh, reasons why uh, they went to to, uh, to to Syria and then stay in Tunisia and fight against the. the the government of, Tun of Tunisia, they, they, they think that uh, what we were doing by that time, 
uh, is uh, uh, good. And we, we are not, uh, uh, the government w w wasn't uh, the devil. Interesting. Like, uh, like the, they, they think, uh, because they think that we, we did the revolutions and then uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, Nahda party uh, is recognized and then other, other uh, uh, religious parties that were uh, recognized. So, they, they so think you think it's because you, you allowed political Islam a course, place within of, your political system? Yes, 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 sir. Interesting. Be because the implication, I'm, I know as a head of government you're not going to go there. The Egyptian government has taken a very different attitude. It's, it's, it's different. We are, we are, uh, each uh, country is, is free to adopt uh, what, uh, but this is our position. And then Tunisia think that the, the, the best way to do, to, to, to do it is just to, to try to, to work together. And then we notice that uh, by uh, 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 making them part of the, the political uh, scene, they've changed a lot. You said, you talked about economics. Of course, one has to remember the Tunisian revolution begins because a man sets himself on fire because he was frustrated with the, both the inability to, to be a, a, a vendor, uh, a salesman, uh, and the fact that he was being asked for, for bribes and things. What do you think is the single, you know, what is the path for Tunisia to get to a high growth uh, economy. Um, your tourism is down because of terrorism, because of that terrorist attack. Um, is, it, is it fundamentally to revive tourism? Are there other strategies? W what will get Tunisia to the place where you will be creating enough jobs that you will never have to worry about terrorism? Mm -hmm. uh, I have to remind you first that we had challenges, as I said, in the beginning. We had uh, security challenges and uh, social stability uh, uh, challenges. We also have uh, uh, an economic challenge because uh, we need to create jobs and then uh, to get jobs we need to uh, to to invest since uh, um, we started in this uh, this uh, first government in the second uh, second uh, uh, republic uh, our objective was to how how to to uh, to put the uh, economic machine in uh, in work as you mentioned uh, we had those uh, two uh, barbaric uh, uh, terrorism act in Bardo and in uh, in uh, Sousse. Those had uh, a very bad impact on the uh, touristic sector. But uh, you have also to uh, to uh, know that uh, tourist is very important in Tunisia. It employs more directly more than four hundred thousand people. But uh, uh, it represents uh, only uh, between 7 and 11 percent, depends on the season, uh, in the GDP of Tunisia. So, so it, it's, it's, it's important, but, but it's, it's not the main uh, 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 source of, uh, of, uh, of uh, wealth in, the, in our country. So uh, uh, our, 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 objective, our objective is to prepare the next step. And the next step has to be prepared by uh, uh, preparing a, uh, a uh, five years plan. Five year plans will, will start on 2016 until 2020. Uh, uh, we prepared uh, the, the basic framework for this, uh, for this uh, uh, strategy, for the next five year uh, uh, strategy. And it's based on two, uh, two uh, sub objectives, I, uh, I would say. The first, the first one is uh, how to uh, 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 is based on on, uh, on uh, implementing uh, projects mainly on the area where the revolution uh, happened, because uh, uh, there is the coastal area and the interior area of the, of, the, of Tunisia, and there is a, a, a big difference between what has been done in the coastal area and what has been done. In the uh, in the interior part of the of the country, so we'll be uh, uh, preparing, and we actually we have commissions working at the regional level, preparing projects for those 14 areas, where, uh, which is important. The second part of this program is uh, having uh, um, uh, important structural project for the for the country. With the, 
I talk about important structures, parts of the country. I mean uh, freeways, railroad, uh, harbors, uh, airport, and all kind of uh, projects that will be implemented directly by the uh, by the uh, by the by the state. The second part of this program, which is the most important part, I think, is uh, reforms. You have you need to have important reforms in our uh, in our countries and in many domains. Uh, I will I will uh, uh, mention uh, some of those uh, the, the domains. The first one is um, at the fin financial level. We have a very important reform, which we are, we are undertaking. Actually, we started, and then it's. Uh, 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 we have also to uh, to reform our investment code. So we, we need to have an investment code in order to 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 give many incentive for the for the local investor and for the foreign uh, investor. This is a very important reform that we have to 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 implement. We started um, probably by the end of this year. We'll have a new investment code in order to give more incentives to the to the. Uh, Businessman, local businessman, or 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 or, or foreigner to to come and invest in uh, in uh, in Tunisia. We also have a very important uh, fiscal reform that we have to 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 undertake because the fiscal system that we have is quite old, and then it has to be reformed. That it has to, to be more uh, uh, equity between uh, between uh, the tax uh, the, the taxpayer, and this is a very important reform that we have to. Uh, to undertake, we also have a very important reform to to reform the administration. We have uh, uh, an administration which is, uh, uh, like somebody was telling me uh, when I had a meeting before coming here, it's it's frozen. It has it has to be uh, uh, shaked up, uh, and we need to 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 implement a deep important reform in the administration because uh, uh, you have a nice code of of. Of investment, and then you have uh, uh, a good uh, uh, social uh, stability. But but if you, if you have an administration uh, which is uh, which doesn't react rapidly, which is uh, uh, it's don't, it's it's very important to to, to make the, the, the reform of administration. Do you have the political power and capital to actually implement all these reforms? That's a very large reform agenda. Yeah, this is this is this is our uh, our agenda. Our agenda for the next five years this is our agenda. We need uh, within those reforms. You cannot move on. You need to have those uh, those reforms. Of course, those reforms are not easy to uh, to implement. Uh, you need to have a, a political support. You need to have a social uh, support. And to all those reforms, they have to be negotiated. We won't impose them. They have to be negotiated with the labor unions. With the uh, with the uh, entre entrepreneur, with uh, with uh, with uh, with every every everybody, and we have we have an example that we we, we started is uh, the the uh, age of uh, of retirement. All the social uh, 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 problems that we have with with age. Actually, the age of retirement in Tunisia is 60 years. At 60 years, uh, everybody can uh, work. Uh, uh, I, I'm 67, so, so I'm, I'm still working. <laughs> so it's uh, it's it's necessary to uh, to uh, to review this, uh, and we we made an, ag an agreement with the labor unions, and then uh, uh, probably we have we have a bill in the uh, in the parliament which will uh, 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 increase the age of retreat from 60 to 65, and this will have a very important impact on the stability on the equilibrium for for the the. the the uh, retirement uh, agency, which, which has a, a very important deficit, actually, and then you have to be, uh, it has to be uh, uh, reduced. All, all the, this is this is our our uh, our program for the next uh, uh, five years, implementing in the in the in the uh, important project in those regions, imp implementing uh, national st structural project, and then doing in parallel important reform. We need to have those reforms. So let me open it up to uh, to the audience. Just a few points. One, um, identify yourself. Um, two, please make sure the question is in fact a question, not a speech. Uh, if it is a speech, I will not allow it to uh, to proceed. And finally, I was told, please don't speak in French or Arabic. I didn't know that anyone would be tempted to, <laughs> but I was told, despite the fact that uh, the head of government can in fact speak both those languages, we are streaming this to a lot of people 
And this being America, none of us can speak any of those languages. <laughs> so, ma'am. Thank you very much. I'm Barbara Slavin from the Atlantic Council in Washington. Pleasure to see you, sir. Uh, you mentioned reform, a number of reforms, but you didn't talk about security sector reform, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of criticism that your security services are still torturing people and unlawfully detaining people. And in addition, your president has put forward a proposal that corrupt businessmen can essentially pay their way out of their crimes by admitting what they did under the old government and, and giving some money back. And this has caused a lot of protests in your country. So if you could address those two issues, security sector reform and this, this question of allowing corrupt businessmen to continue. Thank you. Yeah. For the first question, security uh, sector. This is one of our priorities. Probably I didn't mention, uh, mention it because uh, the, the, the reform of security sector, we've started it uh, since 2011. You know, I was uh, Minister of Interior by that time. And then uh, we had a problem, a very important problem. Because when, uh, after the revolution, everybody blamed the security sector. They were supporting the dictator and our objective, how to transform those uh, security people from uh, 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 serving a dictator to serving uh, the citizen and the, uh, and the people. And then we've started since that time, and it's still continuing act actually, a very important uh, transformation. It's not an easy job. I know I, 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 uh, I have the experience, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going on. We have some cases like, like you mentioned of torture or something like this. And this happened everywhere in the world. And then, and then uh, uh, what is important for, uh, for us, and has to, to, I have to, to emphasize on that, 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 that uh, uh, those who are uh, doing this, this, this kind of uh, 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 actions, they, 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 they are, they are followed. We, we, we transmit them their, their, to see to the justice, and there we, we look after, after them in, in, in justice. This is the difference between what was happening before and what's happening now. This is, this, is, this is a point I wanted to make. The second point uh, for, for the, for, excuse me? The national reconciliation. About the business. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I, I've got your point, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the second point is the, 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 the uh, reconciliation uh, uh, project of, of, of law. I, I, I would like first, uh, first of all to, 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 to mention, to, to make a point. What happened in, 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 in Tunisia and the transitions that we've made is irreversible. Nobody, because we have institutions, nobody can go, can go back. And if he wants to go back, people won't let him. This is something that's, uh, that everybody has to know, that, uh, that what happened in Tunisia is irreversible. Because some people think that uh, we are going back to old practices and, and so on and so on. This is, this is not the case. What happened in Tunisia is a smooth transition to democracy, and we won't uh, go back. Mm -hmm. And if, even though, uh, 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 if, if we want to go back, uh, people won't listen. People won't listen because we have institutions, we have democracy, and uh, you know, uh, you have information that uh, 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 they torture because everything is 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 there. It's. Uh, 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 public, so so public, and everybody can can go and see, and uh, which which is which is a posi I, I I think which is a positive point. Now go, going back to the answer uh, to to your second question about the law of uh, reconciliations, we have institutions, and the president of the republic has the possibility of the, to propose bills for the for the for the parliament. This is the constitution, and then we have institutions. And, 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 and if, uh, if the parliament, the parliament can, can refuse the proposal of the, 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 of the, of the president of the, of the republic. He is not obliged to, to accept. Because people have to, rem to, uh, the, 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 they have to, to remember that we are not on the, on, the, on the old system where the president dictate something and the parliament. Uh, we have many, many projects of, of bill that we presented as government to the parliament and they were rejected. 
but uh, the, this is uh, the, 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 this is democracy. You have to accept that. So uh, 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 the, the, there is uh, 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 how we say that in in, in France the the garde fou. There's uh, uh, huh? safeguards. Safeguards. There's safeguards. Institutional safeguards. And the and the the institutional safeguard is democracy. Democracy won't let you do. Whatever, whatever. If there is a policeman who is torturing, uh, 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 and as I, and as I mentioned before, uh, it happens everywhere in the world. And and then, but but the difference is between they're they're accepting the torture, and now we're not accepting torture. Some somebody who is torturing a a a, 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 a citizen has to be uh, transmitted to the to the to the, uh, to the to the to the judge, and he'll be he'll be uh, uh, judged. Absolutely. Last. A uh, point about about uh, 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 those who uh, 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 um, um, were indicted for for uh, uh, this for for for, for corruptions. Uh, those who've uh, stolen the 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 the, 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 the people uh, in that in that time has to has to has to to regard the, to the, uh, to to the law, and then uh, uh, all the corrupted people they have to they have to go to to the court and to be uh, the, and to be the, the judged. These are some 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 situation like, uh, uh, for instance, those who have uh, 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 money uh, abroad, and in the in the in the old regime you shouldn't have any uh, you cannot have any money abroad, and they will to to to. To, to bring them back to Tunisia in order to use them to to invest and to do to do th things like this. These are proposals. The other proposal is how uh, uh, the, the the old people who are working in, in the administration they've received order to uh, uh, to 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 implement uh, uh, something and they respected this uh, this order. We, uh, we are looking after them actually, and the administration uh, is frozen actually. And, I was mentioned before because uh, the administration they say no, no, we won't do anything. We have uh, if, if if we will accept orders uh, next time we'll be uh, 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 we, they, they will look after us and so on okay. and so on. Let's 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 get some more questions in here. So, Craig Charney, Charney Research, Craig Charney of Charney Research. Uh, a few years ago, we did focus groups in Egypt and Morocco, which found Tunisia to be. Tunisia's economy to be the envy your, of your neighbors. But I think that you didn't quite answer Farid's question about what, besides tourism, uh, Tunisia can offer the world. Um, what, I've always thought that perhaps the North African countries, and especially Tunisia, with a lot of educated labor, might be a natural back office yeah. with information functions and IT functions uh, for the French-speaking world, much like India is for the English-speaking world. But I'm wondering, really, what is it that, besides tourism and bronze bodies, Tunisia can offer the world? <laughs> well, besides, uh, for the tourism, I didn't uh, answer to that, that, that question. But uh, tourism in, uh, is, uh, is in a situation where uh, uh, you need to do a lot for, uh, for the recovery of the sector. Because uh, the, 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 the sector is in a very bad, uh, bad, bad situation. We have a special program for recovery of the of the, of the sector, helping uh, uh, mainly uh, 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 businessmen in uh, in uh, in hotels how to uh, maintain their their uh, employees, which is very which is, which is very important. We have a, we have a program of, of uh, helping helping them, helping also them how to. Uh, 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 re reschedule their their loans with uh, with banks. There are many many, and then trying uh, uh, um, trying to um, because you know uh, the tourism in uh, in Tunisia uh, started with balnear uh, uh, activities, and we didn't change since then. This is an occasion for the the, the sector to uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to revise itself and then to to. To have a, a deep study in order to, to transform the tourism, there are other activities that we can we can do because it's mainly I would say 90% of the tourism in, in Tunisia is uh, balnear to, to tourists. We have to to change this strategy, and then we are profiting the, of the of the situation in order to do this, this this important reform, deep important reform in the tourism sectors. Uh, 
the second part of your question, what can Tunisia offer for, for, uh, for, uh, for the world? We have, uh, uh, as you mentioned, uh, uh, India uh, is, is, uh, is, uh, is serving, the, 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 is, is, is uh, d doing a, an important activity for the part of the, of the world, mainly in Bangalore and, and other uh, uh, IT uh, uh, activities. We, we do have the same uh, possibilities because we have a skilled uh, 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 people and then, and then, and then we are uh, working on 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 having in Tunis uh, uh, what Bangalore have in uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, in, uh, in India, and then uh, we have very very important program within this five year plan. Uh, uh, we don't have enough time you know, to to go to the details, but we are also having these possibilities, and then uh, we have uh, trained people that could serve uh, like India. Okay, let's uh, set the back there. Yeah. Uh, Earl Carr representing Momentum Advisors. Um, there's been a lot of controversy regarding the role of Chinese investment in Africa, in particular Northern Africa. Um, given that last year, 2014, represented the 50th anniversary between Tunisia and the Republic of China, how do you perceive the Chinese investment in, in Tunisia? There's been a lot of concern that often these infrastructure projects, the Chinese bring their own workers. They don't really engage with the people in the country. Um, do you feel that the Chinese investment is helping the local people of, of Tunisia? Well, uh, um, we do have a, a very long experience with, uh, with Chinese investments. We have uh, an enterprise with C, C, CWOE who uh, invested uh, in, uh, in Tunisia, especially in hydraulics. And uh, we also have uh, other important projects with, uh, with the Chinese. But as you mentioned, uh, uh, Tunisia didn't accept that, that, that uh, because we have, uh, we have uh, 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 unemployment and then we cannot uh, afford ourselves to bring people of, uh, from China to work in, uh, uh, in Tunisia. But the, the experience we We've had with uh, with Chinese was a, was a, was a, was a, was a good one, and then uh, we have to develop our relationship with uh, with uh, with China, and they are willing. We received many important uh, uh, high ranked uh, uh, responsible from uh, from China, and we are working uh, together in order to uh, increase the cooperation between our two countries. Ma'am. <coughs> Brookings Institution. When President Asebsi visited Washington and met with President Obama, President Obama made a very public commitment to support Tunisia. I'm wondering, first of all, how can the U.S. demonstrate that commitment, and how should we be prioritizing our assistance to Tunisia going forward? Thank you. As a matter of fact, uh, when uh, President uh, Asebsi visited the uh, United States, uh, we had uh, he had a very important uh, uh, Discussion with uh, President Obama, and they they set up a a program of cooperation between the two uh, countries. We are uh, implementing those those uh, those uh, agreement uh, between the two uh, the two countries, and they had a meeting with the Minister of Commerce yesterday, and then we we went uh, uh, we 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 made a follow up of 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 of, of those. Uh, um, agreement made, made between the two president and uh, things are working quite uh, quite well. There are some some small problems, but uh, those are the day to day problems that we'll be solving uh, uh, by discussing with the uh, American authorities. Sir, <coughs> uh, Herbert, <coughs> uh, council member. A few years ago, my late wife and I booked a tour uh, to Libya. Uh, Colonel Gaddafi said the Green Book said, we welcome visitors. But as we're about to land, um, he changed his mind, and no Americans. So they took us uh, to Tunisia. We had a wonderful trip. The Tunisians welcomed us. And they said, uh, how did you come, to come here? We said, we're supposed to go to Libya. I said, why did you want to go to Libya? Those people are crazy over there. They are really nuts. You shouldn't have th even thought of going there. So my question is, what do Tunisians expect the future of Libya is? 
<laughs> you know, Libyans are our neighbors. <laughs> and and uh, the Prophet Muhammad said, you should take care of your neighbors. <laughs> we, uh, actually what's happening in, uh, in Libya is uh, it's very bad. And uh, everybody, all over the world, uh, we have to be together in order to find a, a solution for, uh, for the situation in Libya. And the solution won't be a military solution. And then actually what's happening in Libya is the consequence of, uh, I would say, a, uh, an improvisation dealing with uh, difficult problems like the like like Iraq, like uh, like uh, Libya, and then we go and make a military strike, and then go out and let uh, the situation be uh, uh, as it is actually. This is the, this is the, the solution should come from the Libyans. The solution should be Libyan Libyan solutions. All the world has to help for that, and uh, unfortunately, it's not the case. And then then the Libyan they should work together in order to find solution. It is important for Tunisia that Libya will be stabilized politically because main of the security problems that you are dealing with actually, they come from there. And the two terrorist acts happened in Tunisia, in Bardo and in Sous. There were two Tunisians who were trained in Libya and came back to, ma to make their, uh, their action. So it is very important uh, to, to have a, 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 a final solution in, uh, in, uh, in Libya, Tunisia is uh, doing his best in order to participate to find uh, a political solution for, uh, uh, for Libya. We have some hope, but uh, uh, it is important that all the world uh, uh, has to, to, we have to work to, together in order to st stabilize the situation in Libya because it is important for Tunisia uh, uh, from the point of view of security and from the point of the, the, the uh, economic, because we have important economic relationship with, uh, with Libya. Let me ask a final question. Um, when, you, when you watch the rise of ISIS and you watch um, some of the activity of uh, Al-Qaeda as it tries to branch out into more and more uh, countries, in, particularly in Africa, do you think that this is a trend of jihadi uh, activity Islamic terrorism, call it what you will. Is this trend on the, uh, on the rise or is it on, on the decline? Well, I think uh, the numbers are, are here. It's, 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 it's on the rise. But uh, the, the summit we had yesterday with, with President uh, uh, Obama, the objective is to, 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 to stop this, uh, this, uh, this trend. It cannot go uh, uh, further. And this is also the responsibility of the whole world. And uh, uh, Tunisia accepted to be part of this uh, coalition because we believe that uh, we need to, 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 to combat this, uh, this uh, increasing uh, 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 trend. This is the responsibility of the whole world, the responsibility of the United Nations and the responsibility of every other country. Because uh, terrorism doesn't have any, uh, any frontier, any, any boundary, and then the end goes and hit anywhere in the world. Uh, in the world, and everybody has to, to to feel that he's concerned about this uh, this problem, and he has to to work with the international community in order to fight this uh, this uh, to, to 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 defend the, uh, uh, the democracy in the in in the whole world because this concerns everybody and everybody. For these problems, uh, we have to be together uh, in order to be able to 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 defeat uh, ISIS uh, all over the world. Mr. Head of Government, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.